After spending the month of August building strength in the weight room, we shifted our focus back to triathlon training, where it should be. And now we're five weeks into the final 12-week push toward the Ironman 70.3 World Championship in Topa, New Zealand this December. We're wrapping up the first of three focus training blocks, and we're excited to share our progress as we gear up for race day. In a previous video, we walked you through one of our training weeks. Now we're diving deeper as we finish up the first five week block and head into our next four week stretch starting tomorrow. The first block was five weeks long, starting with a prep week to transition from that strength training back into the swim bike run. The next two blocks will be four weeks each with three of the weeks being builds and one recovery week. We've crunched the numbers to see how much work we already put in. So let's take a look. Week one, the prep week, totaled 13 hours and 10 minutes. I logged three hours and 30 minutes of swimming covering 11,900 yards. On the bike, I spent five hours and 15 minutes indoors and my total run time was two hours and 50 minutes, clocking in at 15.7 miles. For me, it was a similar story. Three hours and 24 minutes swimming the same 11,900 yards, five hours and 15 minutes on the bike and two hours and 50 minutes running for 16.9 miles. We also kept up strength training, which added just under two hours that week. I started this block with a Training Peaks fitness score of 76 and I'm wrapping up with a score of 90, a solid 14 point gain. For reference, my peak this season was 122 in April and I was at 114 for Chattanooga and 89 for Ohio and that was intentional. On this trajectory, I should be close to my Chattanooga number by December. I started at 87 and have already ramped up to 110 compared to 117 in April, 109 for Chattanooga and 95 for Ohio. It's exciting to see the progress. But it's not just about the numbers for us. It's about how we feel and perform in training and ultimately on race day. Still, let's break down the numbers because we love tracking the stats. So far, I've spent almost 40% of my time on the bike logging 25 hours. That's by design as well, as I've built a solid run foundation and now need to really level up my bike. My longest ride is two hours and 45 minutes, and our next block will see those long rides ramp up to three hours and even longer. Same for me, 40% of the time was on the bike. Even though it is my strength, I'm always happy to improve and invest time here. Here's something crazy. My swim and run times were identical over the past five weeks, down to the second, each coming in at exactly 14 hours, 12 minutes, and 49 seconds. That's 50,885 yards in the pool and 80.9 miles on the run. The focus is now keeping consistent volume in each without compromising quality. My total swim time came in at 14 hours, 37 minutes with 51,615 yards. I've been making progress, but I'm still looking to break that 40 minute barrier in a non downstream race. For the run, I hit 80.9 miles. I had to take a small step back due to some sciatica in week three. As most triathletes can probably relate, seeing red boxes and training peaks is a tough pill to swallow, but I knew I needed to get ahead of the issue before getting too deep into training. It turns out the rest from running was the right call and I'm feeling good now and back on track. My peak run week was 24.1 miles and the focus will be on maintaining consistency and quality long runs as we move forward. My run made up 24% of my training time, coming in at 93 miles. I peaked at 26 miles in my biggest week with my longest runs hitting 14.2 miles twice. As we progress, we'll be picking up the pace on speed and tempo runs, but nothing too drastic just enough to get race ready. We haven't dropped strength training entirely. We're still in the weight room three to four times a week, accounting for 12.3% of our training time. During the recovery week, we stepped out of the weight room and focused on mobility to give our bodies a break. Now for the big picture. 
Our total training time for the first five weeks was 67 hours and 34 minutes, averaging just under 14 hours a week. Our biggest week hit 15 hours and 29 minutes, and we were ready for the recovery week by then. Overall, it's been a great start, and we're feeling strong. We're ready for the next block, and we're excited to keep pushing forward. If you love these deep dives into our training data, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Consider it a virtual high five. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.